Well, I'm pleased to have Bob Coleman here on set in from L.A., the editor of the Coleman Report, uh, and also the editor, uh, the author of Money, Money Everywhere, but not a drop for Main Street. Uh, certainly some of our viewers have uh, felt your pain and, and, and totally understand what you're talking about. The 10 things you need to know to get a small business loan today. And, and Bob, a frequent guest on Fox Business, thank you for joining us here. We just wrapped up Small Business Week. and. Uh, you know, we were sort of talking offline about uh, you know, President Obama naming the head of the SBA administration, uh, Karen Mills, to the cabinet, step in the right direction, but not quite enough. Absolutely step in the right direction. Uh, the way I like to characterize it, it's, you know, the SBA now has a seat at the big boys table, at the adult table at Thanksgiving. Um, the problem that we have is, it's very simple to get out of our recession and to get unemployment down, is to get small business to be able to hire people and get the economy going that way. And that's what we really need. So when you look at the numbers that are going into the SBA budget, I don't want to get in the weeds too much with, with dollar amounts, but do you know what the subsidy is for a small business company that gets a small business loan? Tell us. $400 per employee. And how quick, I'm not an economist, but how quickly does it take to repay that money? So um, yeah, we like it that we're at the adult table. We like it that attention is being paid, but Main Street needs a lot more. They do need a lot more, and we, we've talked a lot about it. We've had some small business owners on last week, and uh, some you know, I mentioned to you, Live Oak Bank on sure, yesterday, sure. Uh, who cater to small businesses uh, across the nation. Um, and we look at the numbers from ADP, and you can see, by and large, particularly over the past six months, but in generally historically, small businesses, and we're talking about those with 50 or fewer employees, definitely creating the lion's share of the jobs, but that is starting to slow down now. What is it that you're seeing in, in talking to folks on Main Street that we could do or that, that anyone could do if there's anything that can be done to juice up the hiring on Main Street and try and generate some more growth here? Uh, it's a circular argument. You want to have that local business to be able to hire more people while they need more people walking in the door to buy stuff. Sure, of course. So, but they need cash to go into the door right. so they need a job, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I, it, it's not a quick fix, but what I'd like is the debate is this. The debate is, hey... Um, bipartisan debate. Small business is creating 67, 70 percent of the new jobs. The recovery, and again, I think we all agree with this, is not as fast as we would like. But let's give a little historical perspective. We're certainly a lot better than we were two, three years ago. So it, it's slow, it's grinding. Um, but you know what? You know what's good news, Robert? What's that? Is the small business people that are out there that are surviving. They're a lot smarter than they were three, five years ago. They're a lot more technologically savvy. They're a lot more customer oriented. So the survivors that we have today are pretty smart in running their business, and that is good news. What about refinancing? And we talk, you oh. know, look at uh, the rates. I mean, the, you know, the Treasury yields are so low, and that so many loans are tied to that or follow that direction. And mortgage rates are at historic lows. What about for small business owners who maybe are trying to refi well, some of the loans? The good news, small business loan interest rates are at historical lows. The problem is access to capital. That is critical. You hear so many stories. of In commercial real estate, the difference between the commercial business loan and the residential loan that we have is the residential loan is fully amortized. We can pay it off for 25, 30 years. The problem with commercial loans, they have these due dates. There are so many stories where the Main Street entrepreneur is current on the loan, the vet, the hotel owner, this is classic for hotels, the loan is coming due, but because the value of that property is now underwater, mm -hmm. they can't get refinancing for the bank. And I'm going to, you know, I, 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 it's difficult to be an apologist for the bank, but the problem is the regulators are just hammering these poor community banks. They're, they're saying, if you want to refinance that, we're basically going to make you write it off. Why? Because it's underwater and what we think the market value is worth. And in a very difficult situation. So that's putting pressure on the community banks oh, and, and perhaps the credit unions, which is where you would historically see a lot of these loans being generated from. Absolutely. I There's so many sad stories of successful entrepreneurs who are losing their property because they cannot get access to the capital. And that, that is really the number one concern for Main Street, is how do we get that access to capital? And how do we, with the capital, guess what? We can buy stuff. We can hire employees. Yeah, and it, so how do we keep it going? I mean, you, you mentioned there are a couple of loan programs that need to be extended past September. Would those be a step in the right direction? Absolutely. There's, the SBA has two specific programs. One is something called the 504 program for what commercial real estate, exactly what we're talking about. Um, briefly, what happened was Congress said, again, Congress, 
the smart people. They go, you know what, we have a problem in refinance. So we're going to have this program for 24 months. Unfortunately, it took the bureaucrats, who are friends of mine, 14 months to write the regs. So we only had a 10-month window. And, and all there was a number in the industry that says, you know what, guys, it's already been paid for. It's a very small subsidy. Let's extend that for another 12 months. And that's very critical for allowing these hotel owners, these restaurant owners, these veterinarians to refinance their business. And we're talking about people who are current on the loans. That we're not talking about people who are six months, nine months. We're not talking about people who want forgiveness. They simply want to be able to rewrite their loan and, and move on with their business. Well, Bob, maybe uh, they should consult the book. Uh, we'll give you one well, more thank plug Thank you very here. much. Thank I you much, so much that. for joining us. Bob Coleman, uh, he is the editor of the Coleman Report about uh, in, in everything you need to know about small business uh, loans. You can find from his report or from the book, Money, Money Everywhere, but not a drop for Main Street. Thank you again for coming in and sharing your expertise. Thank you, Robert. Great to have you here in New York, uh, normally out of uh, Los Angeles here. We'll